It's one of the greatest days of the year, boys and girls. We are back. Uncle G was on vacation, got to have some family time. Um, but it is opening morning of March Madness. How are we feeling? Feeling great, my dude. I spent two weeks over in California. I'm a Florida guy now. California ain't for me. Uh, too expensive, too crowded. Florida, Florida, Florida. But now we get to feed people. Yeah. It's been a minute. I'm 40 years old. I think I had a good day yesterday. Uh, I needed it after a shit week. And now I want to get people fed March Madness. Futures, values, props, plays, survivors. We're going to cover fucking everything in the next nine minutes. T-Rev, do you want to kick it off with a moonshot? Yep. So speaking of moonshots, if you were in the Discord this morning, you got our first moonshot of the year. We had Mookie for a home run and the first home run of the game at almost plus 1,000. So we started off, we're already starting off hot on baseball. Epic. Uh, so great start to moonshots. I'm ready for baseball season. But our moonshot today, if you don't know who the Golden Grizzlies are of Oakland, uh, they score a million points. And they're savages. Trey, yeah, they're, and Trey's their guy, um, right? Trey, Trey's their engine. Um, and they get a great matchup today. They get a team that uh, doesn't play defense uh, in Kentucky. You know, they're that meme of the security guy patting them down. That's Kentucky playing defense. Uh, we can get Trey Townsend of Oakland over 24 and a half points today at plus 430. Um, we model him to right there. There, This should not be plus 430 for him against a Kentucky team that just literally can't stop anybody. I like it, my dude. Uh, my damn system has the under in this game. Mind you, the damn over under is 162 and a half or something. So I just don't like it because, you know, there's no correlation there. Uh, I was hesitant. I even wrote up in DD that I'm hesitant to take this play. It's going to be very uncomfortable to watch. Um, but jumping down, I I'm a San Diego State Aztec. I was there last year for the final four and the final. I just don't think we should be minus seven points. Uh, UAB is not a pushover. The Blazers are solid. We don't throw up a lot of points. I am a little nervous. San Diego State's stronger outside of their conference than they are inside of it. So I do think we're a little underrated this year. I think we win this game. Plus seven at minus 105 uh, or plus 100 on bet openly is, is just too generous. I have us around five, four and a half to five in this game. Again, y'all might not think that's a lot, but that's two and a half to two free points at decent odds public is on san diego state so um i am going to be on the ua blazers uab blazers plus seven minus 105 to plus 100 i like it um my bet opening value prop today enrique freeman of akron if you don't know who enrique is he's basically the best rebounding big man in the country um he's you know he's leading the ncaa in rebounds um and they get a tough matchup today they get creighton but the fact you can get over 10 and a half for him at plus money at bet openly is lunacy, guys. This is over, this is minus 120 and up at other places, guys. That is just too much value for I, I, I get listen, I love Creighton, and you're gonna hear me talk about him here. But that's plus 108 is just stealing. Like this is just an auto bet for me. Um, go look at Enrique's stats. Uh, I think he's hit this in 17 of 20 of his last 20 games. Like he's just, that's what he does. He's, uh, he's the Rodman of college basketball right now. I love it, brother. I like that analogy too. Um, so now we'll get a little bit of alignment with the homie Trev. Uh, my uncle Gino best bet today is, is the Oakland Grizzlies. I gave it out three days ago at plus 14. Um, I, I still see it at 13 and a half. So you haven't lost a lot of value. What I will tell you guys, this is I, – I did a little write-up I think three days ago. This is one time a year where if you like dogs, even if it's a sharp play, don't be mad that you missed it or a time has gone by. Sometimes you see the favorites pump a bunch of points, even against the sharps. This is one of the best times of year for sharps because the bottom doesn't fall out. That's how much people, amateurs and new people to the space, pump favorites. So you know the homie Maddie bets. You know, he does that underdog money line. Check it out. Watch it. This is a great time to bet dogs. So Oakland Grizzlies plus 14, minus 110. I also see it uh, at plus 13 and a half at plus 100 right now on bet openly. I would give up that half a point for 10% value. I don't think a half a point on a 14 spread is worth 10%. 
Yeah, I, I like that. And uh, Uncle G is not going to like my last play here, but uh, this is just too much value again. This is this is pure value bet for me. So uh, Dalton Neck of Tennessee under 21 and a half points is plus 108 at bet openly. This is minus 115 and up everywhere, guys. Um, listen, Neck is hero or zero. Okay, Neck can score 40 or he will score 11. Um, he's just that kind of shooter. And they get St. Peter's today. Now, listen, those guys. This is where Trev and I don't align, so listen, yeah. so listen up. So St. Peter's might not be able to score, but those dudes can play defense. Um, and, and that's what I'm counting on here. As I think what they're going to do in this game is try to lock Dalton up and then make – Tennessee beat them with everybody else. Um, I think they're going to double them a ton. I think they're going to be out on his ass on the perimeter. Like um, and the other side of it is, is if they do blow them out, Dalton doesn't have to score 40 points to blow these guys out, but they're really good on D. And again, this is a value bet for me, guys. You are giving me 22 points of value on something. We only model him to 17 today. So you're giving me 22 points. You're giving me 17 and you get a good defense. Um, and I like fading the public here. Everybody loves Dalton to score 40. Um, so it's me just wanting to go the other way here. I like it, brother. Um, the reason Trev said I won't like it is I, I actually think Tennessee's path to the finals is is one of the easier ones. Again, I, the when I say I'm taking Tennessee to win it all, it's one of my three plays. So uh, I care equally as much about the team as I do about the path. So I don't bet any futures in March Madness until I see the full brackets come out. I like Tennessee's path. So um, that that's where Trevor's uh, – so – Trev, let's get people some plays. I got like three more minutes before I got to go. Let's go. All let's right. go all five plays in the next 30 seconds. Mida Jans, this is our lightning round. You're going to get our five plays, no explanation. So pull out a pen, listen up. Here they come. Uh, Trey Townsend, Oakland, over 24 and a half points, plus 430. UAB Blazers, plus seven at minus 105 or plus 100 on bet openly. And we, Rike Freeman at bet openly. Of Akron over 10 and a half rebounds plus 108. Uncle Gino's best bet, Oakland Grizzlies plus 14, minus 110, or you can get 13 and a half at plus 100 on Bet Openly. And our Bet Openly prop play of the day, Dalton Necht of Tennessee under 21 and a half points plus 108. The value is at the plus money at Bet Openly. Have a good day, Mighty Gens. Good luck, Trev. We'll, we'll be on every day from now until the end of madness. Yep. Let's go have some fun. Later, homie. Later.